Hi everyone. Um, today <laughs> I'm making this video in English, as you've already noticed, because uh, and, and I'm also showing my face, also showing my face, because uh, this video is <laughs> kind of special. Um, I don't know if you've heard about the ASMR tag. Uh, some ASM artists have been doing it. I believe the one who started it was Gibi or Gibi. I don't know how it's pronounced. I believe it's Gibi ASMR. She started it and tagged three people, and then <laughs> it spread <laughs> like a virus, <laughs> and eventually I got infected. <laughs> Um, I was tagged by Draconis. Uh, he's a really nice guy. <laughs> I met uh, through the ASMR uh, Discord server and uh, I think he started his channel, um, his ASMR channel, not so long ago. I think, I'm not really sure, but uh, he tagged me. So now I'm doing it <laughs> and since I was tagged in English, I think the right thing to do is making the video, the video in English. Sorry, sorry <laughs> for my broken English, <laughs> for my pronunciation mistakes. I haven't talked in English in a while. I'm rusty, but I'm trying my best. So, I have here the 25 questions, um, I've written some of them in my mobile phone here, and it's almost out of battery, so maybe <laughs> I have to do it by heart, but first question. When was the first time you experienced ASMR? Well, it was at, <laughs> at an English class <laughs> at high school. Uh, I have this quirky, I had this quirky English teacher. Or well, my language teachers have been really, really weird and quirky, and I love it. <laughs> but, um, this was my high school English teacher, English high school teacher, I don't know, and um, I have a doubt and I raised my hand and asked, asked her and um, she comes to my uh, table, she leans in and start um, explaining the exercise to me in a really quiet voice really 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 quiet and nice almost whispering and all of a sudden uh, <laughs> I felt so tingly I, it was amazing I, I didn't know what was happening but I didn't want it to end I, it was amazing um, and at the same time I felt really weird because what is this? <laughs> what's happening to me? <laughs> um, Almost every time I experienced ASMR, before knowing what ASMR was, I felt like, what's wrong with me? I'm a weirdo. But not anymore. <laughs> so that was the first time. This is recording, I don't know. So, <laughs> the second question is, when was the first time you watched ASMR on YouTube? I'm not really sure. It was four, maybe five years ago. Um, I was um, watching some DIY videos and then an, an ad appeared. It was done ASMR, actually. Um, I was gonna skip the ad, but um, 
I started feeling this um, tingling sensation and I was like, wait a minute, I'm gonna listen to this and it was an ad um, in which Donna ASMR explained ASMR and I was like, <gasps> so we Um, so then I started watching her channel the first. I thought she was the only one, but then I started uh, looking for ASMR um, at YouTube and discover all these people and all this community. <laughs> but uh, yeah, four or five years ago, and it was done ASMR. I love her. What's your favorite and un unintentional ASMR video? Everything to do with papers, libraries, and notary is a word. Um, reading, um, writing, <laughs> um, everything to do with books and paper. I love that sounds. It's so relaxing. This was short. <laughs> Fourth. Name the last five ASM artists that you've watched. I want to my history. I think it's called that. And <laughs> listed the five last honest honest Daconis, Southern ASMR sounds, Queen of Serene ASMR. Gas lamp ASMR and the ASMR nerd. Maria was the sixth. <laughs> so <laughs> I know she's like the OG and she's marvelous and I'm agree, but right now I'm more into southern ASMR sounds. I I love southern accent. It's so nice, it's so tingly. <laughs> so this was short. Hola, Minda. I'm talking in English, Minda. <laughs> um, what is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? Uh, this and the next is going, uh, are going to be fun. Um, it's um, these mouth sounds that are like unintentional, like you're talking and then you open your mouth like you have a wet, <laughs> a wet mouth <laughs> and you have a bad microphone so all the sounds you make uh, they pass through the, the recording so this I love them I'm listening when I'm listening to anybody and then all of a sudden I hear <laughs> so tingly <laughs> I know when you're not supposed to uh, hear them it's like uh, this is a bad uh, recording like makeup videos or another type of videos but I love it anywhere <laughs> this is my uh, favorite ASMR trigger to listen to um, what is uh, sixth? What is your least favorite trigger to listen to? And this is also mouth sounds, but intentional, like because it's like so fake. And who does that in real life? I don't know. Everybody like it and likes it, and there's this big uh, controversy about this town being sexual or not. But I simply don't like it. Uh, I don't find it pleasant. Um, 
this one is funny too seventh do you use ASMR to relax or fall asleep? yes I use ASMR for almost everything I use it at work to help me concentrate I use it when I return home to calm and relax with a tea and um, or I don't drink coffee anymore a tea or a hot glass of milk and of course I use it to fall asleep I have uh, insomnia I think it's the word insomnia I have trouble getting asleep <laughs> falling asleep I have a hard time falling asleep so I I need ASMR I, I almost can't sleep if I can't listen to at least a short uh, video a short ASMR video this is funny but because I also used ASMR uh, to help me when I had anxiety or a crisis uh, some kind of uh, breakdown but uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, it wasn't effective and I ended up linking uh, the person the voice I was listening to when I have this anxiety to the anxiety ex itself so um, it became so bad that whenever I listened to this person I started to feel anxiety anxious it wasn't pleasant so I had to stop listening to this person for a while until I my brain <laughs> stopped uh, linking the two of them and now I don't listen to ASMR when I feel really really nervous or nervous or anxious sorry Nick um, eighth, what is your bedtime routine? Well, um, nothing special really. Uh, I made myself um, an infusion, uh, and um, sometimes <laughs> I don't drink it, but I made it. I make it, <laughs> um, and then I turn the, the lights off and uh, go to the bathroom and then go to bed and the, the, the fun part is that uh, my cat knows uh, when I started this uh, <laughs> this routine uh, she notice, notices that I'm going to bed so she jumps off the sofa and waits for me <laughs> on the bed <laughs> so this is like nice Somebody's waiting for me. <laughs> My cat. <laughs> uh, nothing special, really. I I try to go to bed uh, early before midnight, but I know I'm not gonna fall asleep until one or two in the morning. So why bother? Um. Ninth, what is your favorite trigger to do? To do uh, tapping. I I love. Um, I usually have pretty long nails, but right now they're a lot shorter. But I love tapping. So this is my favorite trigger to do and my least favorite trigger to do uh, Tenth question It's like uh, everything <laughs> uh, um, Eating sounds and 
like chewing gum or so and it says here I have to do it so wait a minute a second I don't really like um, this kind of sound this if I show my face or not because if I'm recording my face I have to get ready I have to straighten my hair I have to do my makeup and um, I spend like an hour or two <laughs> doing those things that's the main reason because that's the main reason I don't usually make videos showing my face because uh, I don't <laughs> have the energy to spend two hours getting like my prettiest self and then record a video and then <laughs> washing my face and that's it <laughs> it's pretty sad <laughs> but I spend recording usually half an hour to an hour I try to record several times in a row so I I'm like an hour to do recording and then I do pretty basic editing I, I only uh, listen to the audio and cut the parts when it's too loud or lower the volume and that's it I <laughs> I haven't, I don't have really good editing skills or knowledge, so this is the best I can do for now. I'm learning. So, I would say two hours to three hours per video. Uh, for the, from the moment I start recording to the moment I upload it to YouTube two or three divided in several days I don't usually edit the same day that I record because I'm that way I was born this way <laughs> 12 have you ever gotten tingles from your own videos? recording them? yes listening to them? no <laughs> never um, 13th do you watch your own videos? nope <laughs> I try not to <laughs> it's very cringy <laughs> if that's a word I listen to them because I have to when I am editing and that's it um, fourteenth. What software do you use to edit? Uh, I use um, a program. Almost anybody <laughs> use. Almost nobody use. It's Wondershare Filmora. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> it's not free. Um, it's have a lot of. Um, effects and kinds of letters and transitions but I I only use one transition and one letter and <laughs> that's it <laughs> I don't know I'm learning and for the moment this is 
everything I need. Sue me. So, wanna share film more? Um, what time of the day do you film? Two or three in the morning. Uh, when I moved here, this was a really quiet neighborhood. But I don't know. Right now, it's really difficult to find a moment in which nobody's shouting. My next door neighbor is like really loud and speaks like she was shouting all the time. It's really annoying. And the boys and uh, there's a school um, a couple of vlogs from here and the dogs and the neighbors and the kids and it's really difficult to find a quiet moment so I I wait to uh, two or three in the morning uh, Saturdays Fridays or Saturdays because I have to wake up early during week time and weekdays Um, when I have to make a video and I couldn't do it at 2 or 3 I uh, wake up early on Sundays like 9 or 10 in the morning that's early for me, okay? <laughs> um, and I try to record but noise starts like at 11 and your favorite media video that you've made I don't play favorites like I've said I don't watch my videos so I don't know I don't really know uh, you have if I have to pick one I'd say the the one where I'm uh, drinking tank it was really relaxing it was like I started making one video um, like pouring water and water sounds and then I started talking about my youth and my summers and when I was younger it was really relaxing it was like oh, mellow and oh. I enjoyed recording it but that, not because it was good because not because it was good, but because I enjoyed a lot. I don't know. I forgot how to English. Seventeenth. <laughs> Has one of your videos had an unexpected negative negative fan reaction? Nope. My channel is really really small, so uh, I don't really have fans or. <laughs> reactions. I have people who like it and people who don't. Uh, <laughs> 18th. What video of yours do you think didn't get the love they deserved? What videos of yours? This I know. The, the ones when where I, I'm playing my with my Nintendo. I love those kind of videos with the sounds of the button, the button sounds, and the screen, and the whispering, and I enjoyed a lot making them. But uh, people wouldn't watch it. What? Watch them? Wouldn't watch them? And wouldn't like them, so I stopped doing them. And I don't know why, because I love them. Every time I find someone making some. An Animal Crossing or, or Zelda or any video game really in, in a portable uh, console I'm like oh nice sounds I love it but uh, <laughs> I don't know people doesn't like my, my let's play videos <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> they're fine <laughs> What's 
something the audience the audience doesn't know about the behind the scenes of your channel. That I record in my pajamas. <laughs> I don't know that I. I really film in weird positions, like really crouched. But I think I already say this <laughs> in every video, so I don't really know. My camera setup is really weird, like. Uh, a trophy, a karate trophy over a stack of paper <laughs> and the webcam wired to the computer like a meter over the, the webcam and <laughs> everything's weird really but I believe um, every setup <laughs> especially newer channels or small channels it's weird because it's it's a hobby it, it <clears throat> uh, like we have another job so we doesn't have we don't have so much time to to learn or so much money to spend to invest in equipment like it's something useful and the outcome is good, so why bother? <laughs> A ver, 20th. What's the most absurd request you received from a fan? Well, he wasn't a fan, <laughs> he was John Davidson. As I also already said, my channel is really small. I got like a thousand and 500 subscribers and that's really really small but uh, this is uh, there's this guy John Davidson that always leaves comments in ASMR videos asking for <laughs> a close-up or of your nails painted in black he always asks for the same and it doesn't matter that you're a boy or so sorry a woman or a man <laughs> he loves your nails <laughs> and wants to watch a close-up of your nails <laughs> so <laughs> the weirdest thing wasn't really weird but he's like family to us everybody knows it John Davidson <laughs> I don't know how to think <laughs> 21st Do your family and friends know you make ASMR videos? Yes I don't brag, but uh, they know Actually, actually, my niece found out by herself She was browsing the internet and she saw me I don't know what, was, what she was looking for, but she found me They don't really care. My friends are like, huh, she's weird. Well, my friends. And my family, I don't know, my family is like really traditional and they are like, why don't you get married and forget all this weird stuff? Uh, actually, my mother once said to me, I don't like your videos because I fall asleep and I was like mother that's not an insult that's a compliment <laughs> for my channel <laughs> oh your videos make me sleepy <laughs> it's a compliment <laughs> but I don't know if she was listening um, they don't spend so much time listening to me have you ever been recognized in public? God, no <laughs> no <laughs> no I'm my channel is really small and most of the people that listens that watches my channel are from Mexico and I'm from Spain so no <laughs> Mm -mm. 
23 23rd I hope <laughs> I'm doing it right and uh, I don't know if I have skipped anything I hope not have you ever no, no, no. what inspires your video ideas I don't really know sometimes I'm walking by the street and I see something and I think whoa that's, that would be awesome on a video and then I buy it or I'm listening to some video or watching a movie or watching another ASMR video really uh, I find inspiration whenever wherever I don't know when it happens it happens in everyday life really this is lame <laughs> uh, 24th where do you find yourself spending the most time online in twitter <laughs> on on twitter I spend a lot of time in, on Twitter like most of my waking hours are spent there I don't have many friends, many in real life friends but I know a lot of people <laughs> via Twitter and I don't know, I consider them like my friends I hope it isn't weird um, YouTube, obviously I spend a lot of time in, on Discord, but not anymore, I don't know why I have to reconnect but because uh, I was in this ASMR community Discord server and then the ASMR uh, server and there is a lot of nice people there they are really nice, Draconis is in there <laughs> I really enjoyed being there, I don't know, I stopped Maybe because I had time, I miss it. <laughs> um, what more? What more? Um, Nangag. <laughs> I only watch Nangag. I don't like most of the posts, but the cat one, the cats ones are good. So Twitter, mm, YouTube, Twitter, and YouTube. Actually, I I don't use Facebook. I don't like Instagram <laughs> I don't need anything <laughs> more than YouTube and, and Twitter and maybe Discord <clears throat> and the last one this is a very short video I'm ashamed the last one, 25th what advice would you give someone who wanted to make their own ASMR content? is something everyone um, has said sometimes but just be yourself <laughs> uh, it's uh, really generic and not useful but when when your channel is like a year old and you start um, developing your own style you understand um, everything has been done then I mean you're not going to find a new thing to do like mm, turning pages uh, whispering mouth sounds everything's been done I said it right everything's been done but um, when people watch someone they don't watch it because um, they like uh, not so much the content but your voice and the way you act and, and speak um, I've watched like uh, six or seven channels make the same uh, kind of video and uh, the six are different because 
every ASM artist has his mannerisms and his way to speak and this is what makes them unique so if you start don't try to copy uh, for example Maria or don't try to copy them uh, try to be yourself I, I started with so serious and serious <laughs> um, I, I tried to be calm and, and I, I felt like my videos were lacking and then one time I forgot to cut um, one, one phrase like um, a sarcasm or sarcastic comment I made and everybody liked it <laughs> and I was like mm, they like my sarcasms so I started to um, make those comments and then don't cut them and people like them so now <laughs> all my videos are full of uh, sarcastic comments and, and those kind of things because I realized um, if people want to see uh, gentle whispering they're going to go to gentle whispering if people want to see I want to watch if people want to watch um, um, oh, I totally forgot the name sorry if people want to watch Queen of Serene they're going to go to Queen of Serene but um, you uh, need to realize uh, I'm sure everyone has something unique to offer especially with something so um, special <laughs> as ASMR like you only have to uh, whisper or talk softly and your voice is different than the rest so your channel is going to be different and, and you have to monetize not in the sense that making money but you have to rely on your uniqueness charisma nerve and talent <laughs> I don't know this may be a little ridiculous I hope not I don't know <laughs> um and I'm going to go with Draconis and say you have to be patient <laughs> you have you need to be patient it's a must have because uh, you're gonna need uh, quiet and you're gonna need good lighting and good camera and good microphone and maybe you have to wait until 3 a.m. in the morning and then an ambulance comes by and you start crying and shouting because you wanna be calm and relaxed to make the videos but you can't help it you start crying <laughs> so be yourself <laughs> be patient and uh, buy a good microphone don't start with the mobile microphone or the webcam microphone start with a good microphone they're not so expensive and it, they made all the difference I started with um, a kind of nice but it wasn't really good and it wasn't stereo it was a binaural, binaural. and uh, my videos weren't really I have to like I, I, I whispered but I have to whisper in, in loud voice <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense and it was really <sighs> it wasn't nice my first videos were nice and the moment I switched to a better microphone the quality of the audio it was uh, really really better it was an improvement really 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 great improvement <laughs> right big so those three trips
three things. Be yourself, have patience, and buy a good microphone, even if you're starting. They're not so expensive, and usually you uh, you would find like discount coupons on Amazon and or so. So it may cost you fifty to seventy dollars and I don't know if you wanna make a good channel you have to invest. That's how it is. So I hope I make all the twenty five questions. I hope you understand something. <laughs> Again sorry. I I tried to express myself <laughs> the best I could. <laughs> Please let me know. <laughs> so, I think I have to tag three people. Um, I don't really know if they are going to see this video. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure none of the three uh, have made the tag. I don't know if anyone has tagged them. Um, the thing I'm sure is that anyway, <laughs> none of them <laughs> watches my channel, but... <laughs> uh, so I tag um, Queen of Serene, ASMR, Indigo Stars, ASMR, and Let's Find Out, ASMR. There are they are all three in English channels <laughs> so I hope maybe they watched this they watch this and no they've tagged they've been tagged I love them so much I love them, their channels I'm going to put all the information of all the channels I mentioned down there in the um, info box and I hope uh, you found this video interesting. I found you understand, understood <laughs> um, something. <laughs> and I love you all. <laughs> and as always, a kiss. <laughs>